You might feel guilty for saying no to your loved ones owing to the fear of upsetting them. However, by clearly justifying the reasons for declining the request in a polite tone, saying no becomes easier. Here's how. Instead of outright declining the request, consider appreciating the other person's perspective. For instance, you don't want to join your friends for a beach vacation, but you like going on lunch with them, so appreciate and recall the good moments with them while saying no. If you are unable to accept your loved one's invite then suggesting alternatives to consider their invite sounds polite and compassionate. Express other ways of fulfilling their needs in the way they want. Being honest and genuine in expressing your limitations for declining or saying no allows the other individual to better relate to and understand the situation. Expressing gratitude demonstrates that you are grateful for the invite or the offer. For instance, saying I am grateful for the invite, but I have prior commitments. Do not outrightly decline the offer or a request as that sounds rude. Use polite phrases that help the other individual understand your situation. Speaking politely gives a respectful and polite tone to the sentences. Avoid sounding harsh and bitter while saying no. Demonstrate an understanding of your loved one's request or invite while declining it. Avoid making them feel upset for declining the request. Use phrases that demonstrate your care and affection for them while saying no to friends and family. For instance, Reassure them by saying the declining of the request would not weaken our bond.